Hey, our friends, today we're going to draw a Mother's Day folding surprise. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. When it's folded up, it'll just have one flower or a rose. And then when you open it up, there'll be a lot of flowers. Mm -hmm. We hope you're going to follow along. You need your drawing supplies and also some... Paper and something to color with. Yeah. All right, let's start. Let's first take the top part of our paper and line it up with the bottom edge and crease it down the middle and out to the corners. Every time we do a folding surprise, we always repeat the same steps. There you go. And then we're going to take that top flap and line it up with the top edge and do the same thing. Crease it down the middle and out to the corners. Next. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Oh. We can, <laughs> <laughs> when you creased it, it kind of moved. Uh, you could just reline it up. Like this. Oh, let's do a little more line up. There we go. And then I'll hold it down and then you okay. crease down the middle. Yeah, there you go. And then, there yes, we, go. we did it. Now we're going to flip over our paper and repeat that same step. Line it up with the top edge. And I also like holding the top edge like that and then creasing down the middle. That way, okay. Did I do it? Well, I still. I think I did. I, yeah. <laughs> but I'll usually still hold one side. Yeah, there you go. I like holding the top edge, increasing one side, and then increasing the other. There we go. That last fold, we're going to unfold and flatten it out, and then flip our paper back over. Let's also put scratch paper underneath our drawing paper. It doesn't have to be red. We just like red because it matches our table. But this is to protect our table when we're drawing. Now we're ready to draw our first flower, our first rose. And we're going to draw a circle, half of the flower is going to be above the fold, and the other half will be below. We're going to draw a circle for the shape of our flower. So I'm going to start here, and it doesn't have to be a perfect uh, circle. You can have little bumps in it because it's a flower. And then we'll draw the bottom of our rose and connect over to the other side. Yeah. Now let's draw the petals on the inside. This part's really fun. So I'm going to start by drawing, we'll start up at the top, and we're going to draw a curve that comes down and connects to the bottom. Yeah, you can go over the fold and then connect down. Then we're going to start here on this petal, and we're going to draw a curve that comes over to the right. Then we're going to start here on this petal, and we're going to draw, I'm going to press down on the fold so I can draw over it, and we're going to draw a curve that comes up to the top. Then we can start on this petal, and we're going to draw a curve that comes over to the left. It's kind of like we're making a spiral mm -hmm. into the center. Then we're going to start here on this petal, and we're going to connect over to the left side. Oh, it's kind of a small petal, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm going to draw a bigger petal next. Let's draw a bigger one here. And you really don't have to make the same exact lines. You can change your flower any way you want. So you could draw the petals. Maybe this one comes all the way up to the top. And I'm going to draw one over here. I'm just going to go all the way across and keep going until we get all the way into the center of our flower. Whoa, wow, you can keep going. <laughs> And that's it. That's a simple way to draw a really pretty rose. It's going to look really cool once we color it in, too. Let's also add leaves. I'm going to draw a line or a curve that comes out to the left. This is the center of our leaf. And then at the end of this curve, let's draw the end of our leaf. We're just going to turn it into an arrow. Rose leaves have little spikes, so I'm going to draw a spike down until I connect into the rose. And I'm going to try to keep that leaf below the center of our drawing. And then let's do the same thing on the other side. And then we can also draw little curves for the texture of the leaf connecting to the center. And we can also do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to add maybe three on the, on the other side. Cool. Let's repeat that and draw another leaf. Should we draw it up top or down here? Oh, we could do both. Let's just repeat the same step. So I'm going to draw it curving up. Then we'll draw the end of our leaf. Looks like an arrow. Mm -hmm. And then we can draw the little spikes coming down and connecting back in to our 
Rose. Then I'm gonna draw, oh yeah. <laughs> and draw the other side. And then let's draw the, the texture lines coming out from the center of that leaf. I'm gonna add one more leaf over here on this side, but this one I'm gonna draw a lot shorter. So I'm just repeat the same steps. But look at that, it's a lot smaller. Oh, that's a big spike on that leaf. <laughs> and then draw the little curves coming out. I did that really fast because of just repeating the same steps. Now you guys could add as many leaves as you want. You could even just leave it one with one leaf. I think this looks really cool. Yeah. I think I gotta add one more leaf. I'm gonna just draw it over here, coming down, and maybe this one overlaps with the first one we drew. Wow, that was a really big leaf. <laughs> oh, I like those spikes. spikes. <laughs> those spikes are going the other direction. That's awesome. Sometimes I get really confused. I do too. <laughs> I think that looks awesome. I like it. That's okay, right? The most important thing is... To have fun. Yeah, and to... Practice. Practice. Remember to practice. Oh, I love that leaf. <laughs> That's my favorite leaf. Mine too. <laughs> now we're ready to open up our drawing and let's flatten out the folds. That'll make it easier to draw on the paper. Everything below this fold and above this fold is the surprise part, the part that's hidden when it's folded up. So we could really draw anything we want in here. We could draw Happy Mother's Day. You could also draw your mom's name right here. You could also add lots of hearts or even a teddy bear. Or some chocolates. Oh, chocolates would be awesome. Let's add a lot of hearts and also flowers. First, let's draw a heart right in the middle of our drawing. So I'm gonna draw one side like this and I'm gonna draw another heart coming out like this or the other side of the heart coming out. That's really pretty. And then the other side to match. I'm gonna add two more hearts, but you could leave these off to keep the lesson a little easier. I'm gonna draw a smaller heart here and a smaller heart up here. Next, let's finish this rose. We can only see half of it. So let's, <laughs> let's draw the rest of it. We're gonna draw the curve coming up. Now I'm stopping here because that's where the heart is. And I'm gonna imagine it going behind, coming up. Maybe it goes behind this one too, and then comes down and connects. Nice. Now let's draw or finish the petals on the left. So we'll extend this one up. Let's also extend the one on the right. And then this is gonna be a little tricky, but we're gonna draw. We can also look up at this rose oh, yeah. to kind of see what we could draw next. So we draw that top petal. And then I didn't think I had a little one right here, just like that one. And it, it doesn't have to look exactly like this one, but if that helps, sometimes that makes it a little easier. And this one over here, yeah, you could connect to that one. And then I'm gonna draw a petal that connects in between. That looks awesome. You can add another one coming across right here. Yeah. I'm gonna connect this one and maybe this one and add a couple more. There we go. There. Now let's complete the rows up here at the top. I'm gonna draw the outside first so we can start here. We'll draw a curve. Mine's connecting to the heart, but you might have enough room to just go all the way across. Yeah. And then let's draw the rest of the petals. I'm gonna start here on the left and draw a curve coming down. And then down here, look at this petal. We could draw one that comes across like that. And then let's draw this petal. So this line right here, we're gonna extend down. Oh, this part is kind of tricky, mm -hmm. but it's still fun, right? Yeah. And then I'm gonna extend this one down. And then maybe there's one right here at the bottom. And then we can extend this one. And also this little one on the left. Maybe this petal right here comes down and connects down there. Hadley, we did it, but I don't think we're done yet. We should add a lot more stuff to the folding surprise. Let's draw more roses. We could draw smaller ones and we can fill in these empty spaces. 
This part we're gonna fast forward because we're just repeating the same steps we've already done. Now you can pause the video right now to take extra time and add more things to your folding surprise too. You ready to fast forward? Yes. We did it, we finished filling in the folding surprise and we just used all of those same steps. It looks really cool. And we also used a lot of overlapping. What should we do next? Color it. Yeah, this part we're gonna fast forward one more time, but at the very end, you could pause the video again if you wanna match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Give me five, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our Mother's Day rose or flowers. It looks really cool all folded up, but let's show our friends what's inside. Ready? Okay. One, two, three, happy, happy Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. <laughs> Do you think it looks better all colored in? Yeah. Me too. I hope our, our friends are gonna color their drawings also. We used our biennial markers, but you can use whatever you have at home. The red that we use is? R107. Yeah, and the pink for the hearts is? R605. Yeah, and then we also use green G406, and we use a gray WG05, that's a warm gray, for the shading, Then we also used our white colored pencil for the highlights. That makes the drawing look more three-dimensional. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your mother's day fooling surprise. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye. Happy Mother's Day! <laughs>